Providence High School. Folks, we have a report of a stabbing at East Providence High School. Look at this. The police have us all the way back over here. Now, share that you are watching. Remember, now, also, if you know of someone that lives in East Providence, we're going to try to get some details. This is happening right now. I want to show you. That's the uh, entrance where you go in, the new high school over there. And then there's also an entrance right over here. And the police have us. See right there, the police have us all the way across the street from East Providence High School. Now, nobody is let out. Nobody is let out of the high school. <clears throat> This is a developing situation right now. Folks, we are live in East Providence. <clears throat> oh, I like that. That's maybe a little bit better because of the shade. You may move down there. Yeah, I think I like that shot. All right, folks, again, this is East Providence. Thank you, Ann. We've had a report of, we're hearing that there's been a stabbing here at East Providence High School. Now you can see all the buses lined up. I'm gonna move down a little bit. They, um... Now again, I wanna emphasize, I'd love to move closer. Police have asked us and the parents cannot go over there. You have parents around here and the pa they do not want people across the street. heavy traffic over here as well. Hold on, folks. Blocking the view just a little bit. That's all right. We'll slow with it. You can see all the buses lined up. Don't worry. As soon as this guy moves, traffic is very heavy. There's been construction here anyway. But again, we are nothing official yet. But by parents that have children there, they are reporting that a student went into the nurse's office with stab wounds. All right, this guy's moving. It is a very chaotic situation here. Sorry about that, folks. So again, as you know, I'd love to be across the street. Police have asked us to uh, be over here. We're going to try to get some more information. I know there are some parents. We're going to try to talk to them as well. Maybe even some students when they get out. Again, this is, and I know people are sending me some information. Folks, again, it is Juan on the scene. What makes you think there's something going on? Thank you, Ann. All right, folks, now you can see there looks like some students that are headed for the buses. This is a little tricky where, damn it. There it is. And we're gonna try to get some word now. Move it higher.
talking there. All right, folks, again, now this is East Providence High School. I want to show you the scene. It certainly looks like students are starting to be let out. Let me pan around a little bit and show you. So there's police, obviously, in the entrance. There it is. Now you can see, we're going to try to find out more. You can see that there's an awful lot of activity with the students. So uh, Ann will pin, uh, pin the comment, but what we're hearing is there's been a stabbing inside the high school. I've heard that from multiple parents now. Folks, again, remember, you can uh, share that you're watching or type in someone's name if you know from East Providence. If you know people of East Providence that have information. <clears throat> yep, new high school student stabbing another. Wow. What's that? What do you mean? What makes you think there's something going on? Large police presence at East Providence High School. Let me hear this. Okay, a student showed up in the nurse's office with stab wounds. Thank you to Kathy. Heard that. So, folks, that's where we... We're gonna, this is obviously developing. Now, right now, it's just 144. Just 144. And again, this is, um, you know, there's definitely, notice there's something that's been, uh, you know, the situation where, <coughs> apparently in Providence, somebody brought a flare gun to school, I believe. All right, I'll check. Uh, let me just check. I don't know, nobody wants to talk. All right, folks, it's a little tricky here. Give us a moment. students for some reason are they being told somebody got stabbed okay All right, well, folks, we've had an incident clearly at East Providence High School. There you see there's a big mass of the students coming out right now. Right now. And here come a mass of students. You can see some anxious parents here. Folks, a lot of students. Now, normally, when we're out, we have people that want to come over and and talk. But instead, we see a lot of uh, parents that are uniting. I want to show you. Um, so we have an incident. I sent Ian a message. Uh, we have an incident in East Providence High School, and the incident that we're hearing is that there was a stabbing. So I want to show you. You can see some parents uh, across from the school that are greeting their children or students. 
it is a massive police presence as you can imagine here comes some more here comes some more students as well so folks thank you for the stars on this uh, thursday again we've had an incident at east providence high school Juveniles, we're not going to force a mic on them. It is a public sidewalk. So, folks, this is East Providence High School. You can see all the students. I'm not sure if this is, to be honest with you, the normal time that they're out. Okay. Or if this, I am unclear whether or not, if in fact they were let out early. But these are all East Province. This is, by the way, the brand new high school brand new that people have been raving about but that's what you're looking at your screen right now that there's been apparently Do you know what happened? Well, can you just at least just tell me what you were told? I was told that. Hold on, hold on one moment. I was told that um, a kid got stabbed four times with a six inch blade over a vape. Over a vape. Yeah. Any idea how old the student? Uh, 15 years old. I believe 15 years old. Was the one that stabbed or was stabbed? Uh, I think the kid that was stabbed was 15 years old. I think the other kid was 17, I believe. I don't know. So now, where were you, like, when you got word? How did you know something happened? Um, I was nowhere near the situation. And, um... Were you in class or the cafeteria? Yeah, I was in class. And did the teacher say anything? No. And how did everybody find out? Word just... Word, the, the word just like spread. Mm -hmm. now, you don't know either student? Nope. But it was over a vape? Yes. Can you just repeat that one more time. Six inch blade and a student stabbed another one four times. A kid got stabbed with a six inch blade four times. Okay. Did you know, do you remember uh, around what time it was? Uh, I believe 11 to 12 p.m. Uh, no, a.m. My bad. Before 12 o'clock? What? Before 12 o'clock? Yeah, I believe. All right. And is it, do you guys get a lot early? Is this the normal time? This is, uh, yeah, the normal time, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for talking to us. Anybody want to go on? Just what you heard happen? All right. All right. Just, just what did, what did you hear? What did you hear happen? Um, some kid got stabbed over a vape. Somebody got stabbed over a vape. Yeah. And where were you when you heard that? On the fourth floor when it happened on the second, in the bathroom. Do you know, how's the student that got stabbed? Um, I don't I know. mean, I they was haven't... told there was serious injuries. There wasn't that much blood, though, so... I mean... Two males? Yeah. Yes. Did you hear, did the student go to the nurse's office with the stab wound? He tried running to the nurse's office, and then teachers came out. <laughs> bloody. What was it like in the school since then? It was um, really 
awkward and quiet and scary, kind of, I guess. Was it scary? A little bit. What were the teachers saying, or principal, or what, what are they, did anyone uh, comfort you? Uh, to keep calm and pray for him. And where's the 17-year-old that stabbed him? No. We have no clue. Supposedly he's arrested. Oh, okay. So we Do you see anybody taken out or no? No. <laughs> no. Thanks for talking to us. All right, folks, again, on the scene live stream. What's that? You're not serious? I don't know what that means. Like, you guys are actually recording students after something like that happens? It's news, right? It doesn't matter if it's news. How do you know? It doesn't matter if it's news, though. What do you mean that? You don't think this is news? How do you know that? How do you know that? Based on what? Can you show that to me? How come then all the news channels are interviewing people? You mean you can say you don't think so? You don't think so? Based on says who? Says people who just fucking experienced Hey, watch your language. And the people, you then you don't have to. All right, not everybody likes it. A lot of the students want to talk. Not everybody wants to talk. Folks, sorry about that. Folks, share that you are watching on the scene live stream. Channel 6 has a lot of kids that are talking to them. Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. All right, stand right there. Back up a little bit. You're too close. Okay. All right. First of all, what, what, um, where were you? What did you hear happen? Um, so, I heard... In my math class, last period, last period of the day, that my friend got stabbed four times. Do you want me to hold the mic? No, no. Oh, okay. He got stabbed four times. What when channel is this? He got stabbed four times. Yeah, and 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 if I hear that person him? lying about it, saying it's over a pub or oh, over people, anything. Yeah, people keep spreading. People, hold on, hold on, wait. People keep spreading rumors talking about it was over a a, a, a dispo, a vape. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they don't know anything. It's just rumors going around okay. until you actually hear something. I understand. But just what? where were you and what did you hear? I was in my math class. Where were you guys? I was in English. I was in financial literacy. And what, what did you hear happen? That he got stabbed over a vape. Okay. But I just, you heard a student was stabbed. Yes. Okay. And then what happened to school? Since then, because you guys have been in school for a while. Yeah. So they put on yeah, lockdown, lockdown. They told him, and at first I was like, "This can't be a joke," because normally they say it's like it's a practice, like you know, like this is a test, blah blah blah. And I was like to my friend, I was like, "I don't think this is, I don't think this is a practice," because normally they say it's that. And then someone texts my phone. They're like, "Tyler just got stabbed four times." And, and then I, after you know? it went, and they said on the um, what's that thing called? Yeah, the, the intercom. The yeah, the yep. intercom that it was an open investigation. And so our school's a crime scene, so I'm a little lost. And leaving. Have you communicated with your parents? Yes, yes I have. I have. Yes. And let them know you're okay. Yes. Yes. And he, I want to emphasize this. So you, you were not, you weren't in any way in harm's way. Oh, no, I was, of course I not. was at lunch, and after John lunch is when it happened, when we were going up the stairs, is when they were on the second floor, and that's when it all happened. And, and But that's what you heard, that one student stabbed another student. Yeah. Yes, and then I found out names, and then I found out everything. We'll wait for the officials to announce yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But was, is everybody okay? Or, I mean, that's scary. Some that's people are, some that's people are traumatized. And if, and if he actually does pass, that shit's going to break me, because I already exactly. went through we a just whole, We just lost our friend, which is right here. We just lost our friend. When was that? Um, uh, October 4th. Two, and two now, weeks yeah. or one day? Two weeks, yeah, two weeks. Or fourth. How did that happen? Uh, oh, all right. Well, you I, lost I, your friend. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. How how were the teachers? How were the teachers? They were calm, cool, some, collected. Some My teachers, hurt. they just said, like, everybody be quiet, sit down. We all sat down. They let us go on our phones. We were chilling for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I yeah was our whole period was the lockdown. We just hope. He pulls do, do you normally feel safe in the school? Of, co of course. Uh, yeah. I don't know how. Like, of course. You do. A beautiful new school. This yeah, is, I can't. This isn't anything. Providence. Like this isn't Providence. This isn't like where like everybody's are smoking in the stairwells and all that stuff. Like this is East Providence. Look where we are. This is not the ghetto. Like and okay, like I feel, like look at the school. <laughs> like this police. There's two police officers that are inside the school at all times. You know, like and the police station is right there. I can see her. It's right. You're there. Right. You're right. So it's just like I always feel safe in this school. You know, cause. Like, 
if anything bad were to happen, there's like 250 cameras. There's deans everywhere. There's deans on each floor. There's teachers everywhere. So it's like you can't even get away with nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very well spoken. How the three you? of you. Are. Thank you. I, I like how you're all sticking together. Yes, of course. We hope because we, we, we got to keep our friends close yes. because you never know what's going to happen. So you always want to make sure you keep all your friends close. Life short. Yeah. Towny yeah. Price. Sure Life right short. Come on, Naomi. Get over here. here. What's the message to everybody for Towny? All right, listen. I want everybody to stay safe. And no matter what happens, just know everybody's going to pull through. And I want you to all be careful and make sure that you're not doing anything you shouldn't be because this is where it leads you to bad places. And stay close with your friends because you never know what's going to happen. Now, I have a question. Is, is there a, a way to determine if someone brings a weapon into school? Like, you, do, you don't have metal. Don't you? No. 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 We don't. So that's a problem. Yeah, quite a bit of a problem. Yeah. The school doesn't work hard school enough to. Nobody and if we don't pull it out, out well, all like, day, no teachers really pay attention to what a student is even going through. So You feel better if there was a metal detector? when you go in? No. Absolutely not. I don't want that. Because then no, 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 that no, no, just kind makes of you feel... Crazy. That, that, that makes you feel like you're in a prison. It's going like, to it's gonna make me feel claustrophobic. It's going to make me start to feel like we're being trapped. Like, this is genuinely a prison. Because if you have metal detectors and stuff, that's just like being inside of a prison. Like, you're not sure, like... Yes and no. I mean, you have in the airports, right? You have them if you go to, like, a Patriots game or... Well known for stuff like that happening, and this is a school. This is where I be getting my education. This is where I learn financial literacy, culinary, all that type of stuff. And I should not be learning. Yeah, the culinary, the it's fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing. We're in class together. Yes, it's amazing. yes, it's it very. Because yeah, you have the beautiful new school. So, you, so if they said, all right, we're gonna put in metal detectors when everyone walks through, you don't want. That. No, of no. course not. Because I feel like I'm gonna be trapped, and like I feel like there's like. Yeah, if yeah. Because, yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm, you walk inside the police know. station. We you walk inside the, the police station, you're gonna see like metal it. detectors. You walk inside the airport, you're gonna see metal detectors because people do do bad things. But this is a school that should not be happening in the first place. And for that person to even be bringing a knife to school, knowing that he has issues with other people, is crazy. Cause it's like saying don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but that's like saying don't bring a knife to a fist fight. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But um, I gotta get going. All right, all right, everybody. Glad everyone's safe. All right, good job, good job, townies. Folks, there it is. I don't know. Thank, thank you for the stars, everybody. All right, so it's Juan out here. And as you saw, a lot of the students have left already, but there's still a huge police presence. We'll stay. Folks, again, very smart, very well spoken. Um, hey, listen, we're in a public street, and it's not like we're asking them inappropriate questions, just asking them what they heard, what's their reaction. For those that might be opposed to us doing that, I want to remind people that. These people, like that girl that was all upset and swearing, or I don't know if in the chat, if people were then um, upset about it. But I want you to understand, these, these kids, they go on Snapchat, they express themselves, they go on Instagram, they express themselves, they go on TikTok. It, it's, it's not like we're going, um, you know, into the Amish country, and, and these are individuals that, you know, no one's ever heard from them before. So... You saw they handle themselves very well. We're not asking. I was trying to get out certain information just as far as uh, general reaction to it. But it was uh, very traumatic. Now, again, folks, if you appreciate on the scene live stream, now we're the only ones live stream right here. You're hearing directly from the students on the scene. Your way to say, hey, I like the live stream is to send 200 stars or send 500 stars or you can subscribe to the page so now i'm waiting to see any other uh further update from east providence police boy this has been quite the day by the way in east providence where first part of the, the city lost power and then now you heard from the students and word had leaked out that apparently one student stabbed another student at East Providence High School and so I understand parents being upset the school went into lockdown it sounds like East Providence uh, school officials handled it the best you can in something like that and uh, aside from that they you know followed protocol you heard all the kids those kids sound fantastic by the way and we heard they love the culinary program they have there. So, by all accounts, um, if you're a parent at East Providence High School, a parent, excuse me, of a child at East Providence High School, I think you got to feel good. Listen, something happened. Apparently, one student stabbed another one. They went into lockdown. 
Uh, that stopped it. It also sounds like they got the student in custody. And this was the real thing. The students could tell that it was not just a drill. All right, folks, again, this is the story of the day. One on the scene live stream. We're going to um, sign off, I think, coming up in just a few moments, only because it looks like, you know, the school has finished. Hi, right, guys. And, um, and I thought the students handled themselves uh, very effectively, present themselves very well. But this is a very, very serious situation. I don't blame the students for being upset or the parents for being upset. All right, folks, you've been watching, again, one on the scene live stream. And we are at East Providence where we've had a student stabbing. Thank you to Ann, our moderator. Folks, it is Thursday and we're just getting going.